welcome to sunny vegas hope you're having a great day out there as always Alrighty, guys in this video i'm going to share with you six high growth stocks that are under ten dollars a share i know you guys love videos like this where i get into some of these stocks that are you know under ten dollars and have some big growth okay the growth rates are pretty heavy for a lot of these stocks we're going to talk about those growth rates we're going to talk about the pros and cons of these businesses kind of the risk and things like that okay and i'm going to give you some information on all these different stocks all right all six stocks should grow huge in 2021 but there always is a risk whenever you're investing in stocks under ten dollars keep in mind a lot of times some of these stocks are newer to the public markets. Sometimes they've been going through some things. Sometimes their business models have been damaged or sometimes people have just forgotten about them. But do understand there are additional risks to stocks under $10, maybe even a little more so than like big companies and things like that. So hope you guys enjoy this video. As always, hope you get a ton of value out of it. I hope at least one of these stocks you like piques your interest. Maybe you look into it, do some research, something like that. Never forget to smash. If you want to join Stock Hub, it's absolutely free to do so. That's our best and biggest free Discord chat in the whole world. That's going to be linked in the description. Also, if you're looking to try to scale your portfolio to six figures, seven figures plus, and you want to apply for my private stock group, that's going to be linked in the description as well. Let's get into this, guys. First one up here is a company named Fat Brands. Look at this one, ticker symbol FAT. This is a $7.89 stock here today. Market capitalization on this one is about $92 million, so a little under $100 million in regards to this one. And does it get better than a ticker symbol called FAT? Okay, we, I mean, if you're buying this stock, you want the, the share price to become fat over time, okay? Fat Brands, a multi-brand franchising company, acquires, develops, and markets fast, casual, and casual dining concepts. As of December 14, 2020, it owned nine restaurant brands, including Fat Burger, Johnny Rockets, Buffalo's Cafe, Buffalo's Express, Hurricane Grill and Wings, Elevation Burger, Yala Mediterranean, Iranian Ponderosa and Bonanza Steakhouses, as well as franchised approximately 675 units worldwide. The company was founded in 2017 and is headquartered in Beverly Hills, California. Fat Brands is a subsidiary of Fog Cutter Capital Group. All right. And, you know, I think a lot of you guys probably at least know Johnny Rockets, right? Big, uh, I mean, especially if you live on the West Coast, California, you have to know Johnny Rockets, okay? And Fat Burger, also a pretty big chain. We have many, many different locations here in Vegas. I, that was just three of them that popped up there, but I think we have seven or eight locations for Fat Burger here in Vegas. I mean, look at the size of that burger, man. Imagine trying to take down that thing, the XXL Fat Burger. Jeez, okay? 2021, this company is expected to grow revenue 92 percent okay not a small number at all it's supposed to be a big bounce back year for this company in 2021 so yeah you're not going to find that many companies that are expected to grow revenue like that this is a baby company like we looked at the market cap it's 80 million 90 million somewhere around there it's been trading at lately which is just really really small in general right and honestly based upon my research it looks like this company over time they're trying to turn into a restaurant giant long term and if they can pull that off it's not out of the imagination to think about this company as being potentially a billion dollar company someday or several billion dollar company someday if they can you know successfully develop these brands better and better over time and they get with the right franchisees there's no doubt like this could become a much bigger company than an 80 90 million dollar company like it is today okay now also keep in mind if the stock price goes up the company can raise money and if they raise a bunch of money, there's a lot of different things they can do with that, right? They can pay down debt. They can expand their concepts more in different states or maybe even internationally more, right? And they can buy more chains, more of these different restaurant brands that are growing. And keep in mind, the, the restaurant business is a very difficult business. And you have all the time where some of these you know, folks, sometimes they've been running these chains. Maybe they got three restaurants, five restaurants, something like that. And then they start getting a little older and they're like, man, I just want to cash out because the restaurant business is one of the hardest businesses out there because you got to bring it day in and day out. And so there's no doubt there's always, always different restaurants and restaurant chains that are looking to sell to people that are willing to buy and companies with money, which if this company's stock price obviously continues to go up, they can easily raise money 
and buy out more chains. And guess what? Grow revenues more and maybe even profits long term. And if we look at this stock price, it has been kind of steadily rising. It hasn't been like up in a straight line or anything like that, but this stock price has been kind of steadily rising recently, which definitely puts in a lot better position if they want to raise capital over time. And like I said, for 2021, it's expected 92% revenue growth for this company. So, I mean, if that's very possible, that is a massive, massive number. So it's a very interesting spec stock to start out here, and it's an easy to understand business. This is not like some biopharmaceutical company where you need to do like, you you know, uh, uh, four months of research into it just to try to find out like like why they have some game changing product. Like this is a very easy to understand concept. It's an interesting stock. We'll see what happens with it. Yeah, it's fat brands, okay? Ticker symbol fat. That's an interesting one. Number two up here, and you knew this one had to be on this list. There's no way possible. I'm about to put the video together that's covering stocks under $10 and not put this one on, okay? The Planet. This is a $7.48 stock. This is a stock I purchased personally own. I think I own two or three of the stocks uh, of these bunch I'm mentioning here today, and this is one of them, okay? And I love this stock so dang much, okay? So basically, they build super stores to sell Jack Jackson. If you don't know what Jack Jackson is, uh, too bad, so sad, okay? But needless to say, they build super stores that sell Jack Jackson. They also have smaller format stores, and they're expanding more into that. The company definitely has ambitions to expand more into different territory states and things like that with some of the smaller store formats, but still give that planet overall experience. They have several own brands, which long-term, in my opinion, as a shareholder of this company, I think that is the bigger growth engine for this company long term, okay? No doubt about it. And I mean, several of these brands I think are gonna be potentially, keywords potentially, billion dollar brands themselves over time, okay? You walk into a Planet Superstore and guess what they're giving the, the main space to? Their own owned brands, which I, I looked at the packaging and the branding around these products and it's phenomenal. And people love their products as well. A lot of them win awards, like they, I don't know if you guys know, but Jack Jackson, they actually have different awards out there and a lot of this company's products actually win awards because of that dang good okay so yeah huge growth ahead they're cash loaded you know it's impossible to see their balance sheet as of today literally as of today as i'm recording this video right because companies always lag several months when it comes to reporting their newest numbers but i would say i'm not you know i think they have over 100 million dollars in cash right now on the balance sheet i'll be honest i think they're over 100 million as of today on that balance sheet, just cash sitting around. So cash loaded to the sky. They're in such a good position to expand this business massively when legalization comes, and I think legalization is coming pretty darn soon, okay? Maybe even quicker than a lot of folks figure out. The management team there is awesome. This was a company that could, I mean, honestly, they could have went under last year. I mean, they had one superstore, and that superstore was forced to be closed overnight. This was a company that, could have easily went bankrupt, but the management team pivoted the business. They went to curbside, they went to delivery, they went to a different business model, and then coming out of this thing, they were stronger than ever. I mean, it's one of the most amazing management teams I've ever seen for a smaller company. Like, like pure and simple. Like, if this was some huge company like an Apple or something, I'd be, I would expect that. I'm like, yeah, that's a trillion dollar plus company. They better know what they're doing. But for a company this small, to pull off that move was nothing short of a miracle and one of the most impressive things I've seen from any small cap company ever, all right? Look at the revenue growth expected in 21, 98%. Holy smokers, that ain't no jokers, okay? 98% revenue growth expected for this company in 2021. And not just that, you go ahead and look, and they're expected to be profitable. Now, keep in mind, they're gonna be opening a huge Santa Ana store during 2021. And so if this company, even with all those expenses and costs and things like that, that are gonna be driving into the business why that, why that store ramps up, if they can still be profitable, that's amazing, okay? Simply amazing. And by the way, speaking about that Orange County store, yes, it is under construction. Things are looking good there. Those are some mock-up pictures of the facility. And that store is supposed to open in mid-2021. So maybe June, maybe July. We'll see when it actually opens. But at some point in mid-2021, that store is going to open. And I would guess that store is going to be a very profitable store for the planet long term. Never mind that. Remember I said they 
own their own brands. This is going to give those brands a ton more exposure in the state of California, specifically Southern California, and then watch how those brands expand into many other dispensaries over time. All right, so it's really just a beautiful thing, okay? The planet has all the makings of being a future giant in the Jack Jackson space, as simple as that. I can see the, the, a day when this company is a $5 billion, $10 billion type company because they're that big. And remember, the Jack Jackson space, this is something when, when full legalization happens, there's going to be several companies that are 10 billion plus, if not some companies that are 100 billion plus. I mean, this is a massive industry, needless to say. So yeah, that one, I personally love that one a lot, okay? Number three of these six stocks up here is a company named Casper Sleep. Ticker symbol on this one is CSPR. Just under a $10 stock as of right now. Barely could make the cut on this one. It's about a $400 million mark cap today. Casper Sleep, together with the subsidiary, designs and sells sleep products to consumers in the United States, Canada, and Europe. It offers a range of Casper mattresses, pillows, sheets, duvets, bedroom furniture, sleep accessories, sleep technology, and other sleep-centric products and services. As of December 31st, 2019, the company distributed its products through its e-commerce platform, 60 Casper retail stores, and 18 retail partners, all right? Now, the good news with this company is it's getting closer and closer to profitability. I mean, they're expected to take about $2.18 loss in 2020, and 2021, they're expected to only, okay, I still pretty big loss, $1.18 loss in 2021. The bad news is it's still a loss, okay? It's still a loss, so this is not a profitable company. Most of these companies I'm talking to you guys about here today could be and, and probably will be profitable in 2021. This one is not one of those. However, the good news is the company is supposed to have an acceleration of growth next year, all right? From 10% revenue growth expected in 2020 to nearly 20% 20 in 2021. So that's really good news. You love to see a business model where their growth is accelerating and not like going the other way, okay? Now, they also opened up a store not too long ago. I remember it was in DTS, downtown Summerlin. I'm gonna have to check out that store one day. It's not too far from the Apple store. And uh, that's definitely some, some ambitions they have as far as expanding more retail stores and I will say when it comes to the bedroom okay when it comes to beds mattresses pillows all these things it's obviously an extremely competitive space but what I will say is this company is really really focused on brand and I think this is important because we have seen some brands over the past few years build some very successful brands in the space such as sleep number look at sleep number 3.6 billion dollar market cap on that company company that's built a really good brand name out there people know oh I want a sleep number bed okay purple I'm sure you guys have seen those commercials those commercials are phenomenal out of purple okay Purple, that company, $2.5 billion valuation on that particular company. Another one that's focused very heavily on brand. And this company, Casper Sleep, a $400 million market cap. Hmm, if they successfully continue to build this brand, long term, this could definitely be a company that's a billion, two billion, if not a $3 billion company in the future, okay? Now, this is one I'm gonna kind of keep my eye on here. February 24th, they're supposed to have their conference call and webcast, so if you're at all interested in the stock, it's definitely gonna be an important day to kind of listen and hear what they have to say as far as that goes, okay? All right, guys, next stock up here, the fourth stock of the six. This has been a very, very, very good stock, okay? And uh, yes, the pun was intended. We're talking about the Very Good Food Company, otherwise known as Very Good Butchers. I have a few of their products in my house, okay? This is a company that's fully focused on plant-based food foods, all right? And this is a stock that I've been invested in keeping track of for many, many months now, okay? Ticker symbol VRYYF, $5 stock as of today, market cap of $440 million. Now, some really good news came out in regards to a very good food company recently that kind of went on the DL. A very good food company announces director of US sales and provides e-commerce update, okay? So Kevin Callahan is gonna join very good food company and become the director of US sales. Recently, Kevin was the senior director of U.S. sales for an emerging plant-based cheese company where he established over 3,500 points of distribution 
for the brand in six months with key retailers such as Wegmans, Sprouts, Costco, Ingalls, and Central Market. As far as Mitchell Scott, the CEO, what does he have to say about this? He says, we are thrilled that Kevin has joined the very team and he has proven track record of launching and scaling high growth plant-based food brands in the US market. With Kevin's network and expertise, we will successfully build our US sales channel for both retail and food service, okay? Food service, that's something that's completely untapped for this company as of right now, okay? Very has already received numerous requests for product samples from large US-based retailers and look forward to our products being on their shelves in the near future, okay? Very, very exciting, all right? All the puns intended in the varies in this one, all right? In 2019, this is in, in regards to the e-commerce sales update, okay? In 2019, 550 orders were received from US online customers as compared to 16,024 four orders in 2020, resulting in a 2,813% increase in order volume, okay? The U.S. e-commerce sales order growth is a result of digital marketing campaigns and community building initiatives introduced in the latter part of 2020. Very recently launched a separate U.S. e-commerce website to provide a more seamless customer service experience to U.S. consumers and for better search engine optimization, otherwise known as SEO, okay? Yeah, this company is a growth beast, okay? I mean, look at that, e-commerce, U.S. e-commerce up 2,813% year over year. I mean, this company has a long runway of growth when you're talking about thousands of percent growth, okay? If we look at its most recent quarter it came out with, you see revenue of almost $1.4 million, which was growth of 26.6% over the prior quarter and 322% year over year. That's a number I really like to look at. What's the year over year growth? 322%, how many companies are growing like that? My goodness, okay? Gross margin of 39.2% over a nine month period and improvement from 28.7% in 2019. I mean, those gross margins are very impressive for where this company's at. Production volume sold of 120 126,000 pounds in a three month period, an increase of 37.2% compared to the prior quarter. Never mind year over year. I mean, we're talking hundreds of percent. If you look at its balance sheet, total assets of 15 million seven hundred and seventy thousand, including a cash balance of over eight million dollars compared to four hundred and five thousand dollars in the prior year. So yeah. They, they got a good cash position now on this company. Outstanding debt has been reduced to the remaining balance of $40,000. So debt is pretty much non-existent for them now. Only bad news is the company is losing money and will likely continue to lose money, at least in the short term, as this company continues to scale and build and build, especially in the United States market. But you know, when I look at these type of gross margins that are already coming in, I wouldn't be surprised if this company actually starts eking out some profitable quarters either in the back half of this year or maybe even as early as 2022, okay? As far as this company overall, they have such a huge long-term opportunity in front of this company. As long as the CEO and the executives here, they keep this, this momentum up, I mean, there's no doubt their, their opportunity is massive because this is what they focus on. I, like Plant-based foods, like this is what is going on right now and this is what they focus on. They're not some company that is, it's like they, they were doing something else and now they gotta try to focus over here. No, this is all this company does. And if you look at a company also like I own, which is Beyond Meat, right, BYND, I mean, that's almost an $11 billion company. And maybe very good food company never, ever gets to where Beyond Meat is today, okay? Maybe it never gets that much excitement. Maybe it never gets the type of deals Beyond Meat has or any of those things. And so maybe this company never, ever gets to $11 billion mark cap. However, is it impossible to think the very good food company couldn't get to like $4 billion long term? Like really just think about it for a moment and you're kind of like, hmm, I think that's definitely in the realm of possibility as long as this company executes to at least get to like, let's say $4 billion. $4 billion, if they get there, that's a 10x from here, okay? That's a 10x from here. So even if they never got to the level Beyond Meat is today, this company still has crazy opportunity in front of itself. And so for me, I own over 40,000 shares of stock and like selling is not even a consideration for me. Sometimes when you know people are like, oh, are you gonna sell? Are you interested in selling? Did you sell? I'm like, no, like, well, why would I? When you see, see these type of growth rates, 2,800% in US e-commerce up, revenue up 300 plus percent. I have absolutely no interest in selling the stock 
anytime soon, okay? That's just the bottom line with that one, all right? Stock number five or six up here is Nokia Corporation, okay? Ticker symbol NOK. So this is a different stock of the bunch and don't let this one confuse you because although the stock price looks really small, $4.18, it's actually a huge market cap, okay? $24 billion market cap on this one, all right? Now this stock is very different from all the other ones we talked about because all the other ones are pretty much going to be huge revenue growers in 2021. Nokia, not that type of company, okay? They are expected to have profitability be up a little bit over the next year, and they're expected to have revenues up a little bit over the next year, but this is a very big established company. And I will say, it's not an expensive stock in this market at all. The 4P in this stock is in the 16 range, okay? So this is not some like, you know, nosebleed valuation at all. But then again, it doesn't have some massive growth, so it really doesn't deserve to be trading at some huge market cap, okay? Nokia, did you guys know they still made phones i had no clue i thought they exited the phone business like 100 years ago okay they still actually make phones i think you know what i think i'm gonna buy one I i'm sick of being a basic apple boy okay i'm sick of this stuff i don't just want to be like everybody else oh i got an iphone okay i think i'm gonna buy one of these like nokia phones man and be the cool kid okay yeah i think it wait a minute wait a minute i own cruise i own skyworks they get almost all their revenues from apple no i'm just kidding guys go buy an iphone i love iphones <laughs> nokia all right nokia loves to brand itself as a 5g player and when it comes to Nokia in the 5G market, they've had some success, but it has been very limited success. It is a competitive market, and they have been beaten out for a lot of different projects and a lot of different things by other players in that market. So something to keep in mind, just because you brand yourself as 5G doesn't mean you're ultra successful. And you can see that in the numbers that Nokia has posted over the past few years, including the numbers that are expected over the next year or two, okay? It's just like, it's very okay kind of business model, but a 4P of 16. The good news is you have the Wall Street Bet Squad on your side and they're gonna buy everything Nokia, okay? So anyways, Nokia, pretty interesting stock, a different one of this bunch, not a growth company, but stable, Good forward PE, and um, yeah, you're kind of a grandma stock, let's call it that, okay? <laughs> Number six, a six stock up here. This one is expected to have revenues bounce back huge in 2021. 138% revenue growth expected for this company in 2021, and they sell the popcorn, it's a little overpriced, okay? It's the AMC Corporation. Very interesting stock here, with obviously movie theaters should bounce back very strong in the second half of 2021 and going into 2022. $5.59 stock, and uh, a business model that could definitely get back to very nice profitability with the pent-up demand out there backlog of big movies that are gonna be coming up and uh, yeah anyways I talked about AMC super in-depth in a video I posted on this channel literally a couple days ago so if you didn't get to check out that video that talks about kind of the bull thesis around AMC stock price points I'm looking to personally buy AMC stock at and things like that if you're kind of newer to the stock market and you don't know too much check out my stock market for beginners 2021 video might be the best video I've ever put together in my life I'm just seeing like how much people absolutely love that video and a tremendous amount of value. So if you're newer to the market, check out that one. Never forget to smash. Hope you guys enjoyed this as always. And if you're looking to apply for my private stock group, you want to scale to six figures, seven figures plus in the stock market, go ahead and apply. That'll be linked in the description. Thank you for watching and have a great day.